Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to get pretty much every free film, TV show, etc. that you want using the XBMC Media Center. Um, XBMC Media Center you can get on Windows, um, as in .exe executable file. You can get it on um, Linux using a terminal. Um, or a .deb file download, or you can get it on Mac, I think, but I'm not 100% sure on the Mac one. Um, but yeah, basically, oh, didn't mean to open that. But yeah, um, so what you do is you just run XVMC Media Center, and if you've got the right one here, the newest one, it would say Gotham. Mine just boots straight up because I've got it set like that. As you can see down here, it does say XVMC 13.1 Gotham Returns. Okay, so what we want to install is um, a repo called oh, sorry a repo a repo called Mashup, um, which is how you get all your films, etc. So as you can see now, if I go into video add-on, there's nothing there. So I've got nothing installed on this. It's a fresh version of XBMC, ready to show you guys how to get your films. So first off, you go into System file manager and then add source and then you click on this where it says none and you type in a simple command um, to install the mashup repo and the command is actually h t t p and then it's colon and then forward slash forward slash and then it's um, install dot mashup xbmc dot com I think I'm not 100% sure if it's dot com or not but it'll be in the description anyway the repo that you guys need to add and then you just enter the name for the source you just put um put whatever you want, just mash up, I put, I put dot mash up just because it looks more professional and it comes first in the list then in a minute. So once you've put that, you just click OK and then you'll get mash up there and now you go back, system oh no, you just click on system, go to add-ons install from zip file, mash up and yeah, it is XB installed http colon forward slash forward slash install dot xpmc mashup dot com, and then you'll get this. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into repository and install mashup underscore repo dash version one point seven dot zip. Just click on that, and it should say all add-ons by mash add-on enabled at the bottom. And then you go install from zip file again, mash up, repository, and install the repository dot dixie dash deans. And then that will say add on enabled as well. And then again install from zip file, mash up, add on, and then mash up dash version 1.4.0. This one takes the longest, but it's the main one. But make sure you install the other one first, otherwise this will not fully um, work. It'll say something like dependencies not met, etc. Okay, so once that's come up, um, it says mash up at the bottom, add on enabled, and it should also come up something else. Nope, it's not going to be okay. So once you've done that, you just go on to add-ons, and then enabled add-ons, and then go down to video add-ons, and mashup will be there, and it'll say enabled next to it. Um, so now you just go to video, add-ons, mashup, and then you'll get this. Um, if you don't get this, you might get that, like that which you probably will, you just go over to the side and change the view to a thumbnail so, so it looks a little bit better <coughs> Sorry. 
and then um, you should have a thing called VIP playlist, which is a special repo for mashup. So you just click on that, and then all these are good. I like TNPB, which is the new Pirate Bay. So just click on that, and as you can see, documentary, stand up, cartoon, best of British. You have loads of different ones, latest cinema releases, and they do all work. Um, organized crime and gangster movies I like. So once this is actually loaded fully once, it'll load instantly every other time, but you cancel that for now. So as you can see, your films are here. So if I want to watch the bank job, just click on the bank job. Turn my volume down a bit. And as you can see now, that is playing. Um, let's get that volume down. But yeah, now that's playing. There's your film. And if you really wanted to, oh, didn't mean to do that. But if you really wanted to, you can click that button right there. And then you get this and change the view mode to stretch 16.9 and that will just turn it to fully, um, full picture instead of widescreen. And there's obviously your volume controls. And there you go, you have your film playing. And just stop that now because I don't want to watch that. But yeah, that's basically how you get all your free films on XBMC Media Center. Um, obviously you have to be connected to the internet etc as you can see on my operating system it is running Linux 3.13.0 30 generic and also a problem that some users have is um, actually the sound doesn't work now if you just go onto system audio output if that says pulse audio it might not work but mine does obviously, um, you might have it just set on a different number of channel I just I just keep mine on 2, it gives very good audio quality I'm using um, a 3.5mm audio jack because I've got my Ubuntu system connected up to my TV but yeah, if your audio doesn't work just um, message me and I'll sort that out for you but otherwise there's your XBMC Media Center every film working and um, yeah thanks for watching this video don't forget to watch my other videos on how to get the this this wobbly windows effect how to get skype and also about the viruses for linux and ubuntu um, so yeah look out for them videos make sure to watch them make sure to subscribe and have fun enjoying your films